My third base. Uh, I've told lots of things before on this base. I've shown it on another video. So just a bit of some extra part. This is Stream Stage 1, built in 1998. Yeah. I said it wrong in the last video. <laughs> so I get it straight now. 1998. Um, a zillia body. Neck through design. Um, Burgundy red. The two J Star pickups. Active. Active electronics. Can make it passive. Um, beautiful yin yang inlays. Um, I want to show them. Yeah, I think you can see them now. Um, some samples. Neck pickup. That's stream stage one. Now for the last base, the most recent acquisition. It's a buzzer. Um, I want to tell a bit more about this base because it's quite rare to find it, and I'm quite happy to have found it. This base is the famous buzzer. It's been designed by John Entwistle and Hans Peter Wilford. It's said to be designed in a cafe or restaurant on a napkin. Um, well, what can I tell you about this base? Um, it's believed to be one of the heights of uh, design by uh, by John Entwistle. He put all his knowledge into this base. And just to show you what is meant by that, is this: um, the the body shape is not just because he wanted to have this shape only for its views but also for some reasons uh, one of the first is this thing over here was uh, designed is said to be designed uh, for uh, use to hang it on um, on a stool or anything else just to show you you can do yeah, you can do this or on a chair or what. Um, it's got a pistol grip. You can take it with you like this on stage. <laughs> it's also got a concave body. If you can see it, yeah, I guess you can. Uh, when you show, show, I show it like this. You can see it's a little bit concave. Concave. I don't know how you tell it in English. Um, this base is made of Zebrano wood, quite rare these days, it's said. 
um, the pickups are uh, mirrored precision type pickups from the brown Mac of course um, it's got a two band EQ active um, I believe these pickups are active too um, all gold hardware uh, instead of the signature buzzard from John M. Twistle, this one has got the standard Warwick headstock uh, with uh, just a nut 3 in it. Uh, it's just uh, a, some kind of plastic, if you will. It's called Wilferite, after Hans Peter Wilfer, founder of Warwick. Um, it's quite sturdy and you can adjust the string height on the nut, just like all the other bases of Warwick. Um, another thing, this one is bolt on, like you can see. It's, um, I dissembled it uh, recently and it's got a very tight neck pocket. It's really done very precisely. Um, this base is a bit cumbersome to be played like this, because this is hurting a bit <laughs> so I'm going to stand up with this base just like this you can see my mic now okay So, um, I'm gonna put it in a neck pickup, just a little bit of bass, I find it more easy to listen to, so some parts now, neck pickup. But doesn't matter. <laughs> so what matters most is just put it back like it stood before. Mm. Really great, no? Well, well, good enough. All these wood bases are quite some things, as you can hear. Um, I'm quite fond of them, <laughs> actually. That's why I bought so many of them. 
Um, but also these bases are so good in the craftsmanship. It's really the detail, the, the tension has gone into it. You can see it, you can feel it. It's great. That's it for now, signing off. Bye bye.